I mean, nobody has your bills, nobody has your experience. So moral of the story, know your worth in ad tax. Hey, welcome back to Getting in Character. My name is Diamandi, and this video is kind of a follow-up to the last video where I read a body painting, modeling, casting from Craigslist. The ad, I believe, was listing to pay models $100 an hour for two to three hours of body painting. And although that's, to me, reasonable, I've done two body painting jobs in the past and I actually didn't get paid for them. So I'm going to give you details on my experience, plus show photos from that job. And maybe it'll give a little more context and also help you to start understanding which of these ads are legit and which ones are a scam. The funny thing is, number one, for both of these jobs, I did not get paid. Number two, for both of these jobs, it involved metallic paint specifically. And we'll talk a little bit about why that's important a little later. <laughs> so the first job was uh, a true joy to do. It was for a company that I believe was called at the time the Art Museum. I think Jennifer might have renamed it. She does some amazing things using people and models as art. I don't know if you'd call it installation art. She doesn't always use people, but she always does these super amazing, really cool things. And as far as I know, they've mostly been in the Atlanta area. So if you're in the Atlanta area, look her up and check out her art because it's out of this world. This particular event kind of had a civil rights theme. There were three of us, three models. We were bronzed and there were chains wrapped around us, and it was a display of artistic visualization of what segregation was in the past. One really cool thing was the clothes were pre-bronzed, y'all, and I was nervous because you know I have big feet. Well, if you don't know, I wear a size 12 in women, so I always take my own shoes to every modeling job, and I always have an extensive shoe collection personally, because I know they're not going to have my size on set. This particular job, y'all, they had my size. They went to Payless, got some shoes. I knew they were from Payless because of the brand. And they spray painted them bronze. And they spray painted everything, all the other clothing. So I think I was wearing a dress and a skirt. I'm not looking at the photo right now, but I think it was a dress and a skirt. All the clothes were pre-bronzed. I believe all the gentlemen's clothes, clothing items were also pre-painted. So all they had to do was paint our skin and hair. They painted us up. We put the clothes on and thankfully, I don't know if this was pre-planned or not. It may have been because I think the chair was bronzed also, but I was the only one sitting and the two gentlemen were standing. By the way, one of these models is Drew Stevenson. He's a super cool guy. You should check him out on Instagram. He's been on the CW and worked on some really big commercials. So he's still out there doing the thing. Drew, we see you. Keep up the good work. Michael is the model on the far left. Here is his Instagram. He's also super cool, so make sure you check him out. I don't remember the name of the photographer who took this photo, so I'm sorry. I'm not able to tag them or give them credit, but if you know who took this photo, let me know, and I'll add their tag in the description. Both of the gentlemen were standing, and I was sitting, and I was so grateful to be able to sit because I was so sick that day. Not the kind of sick where you can catch something, but I was just feeling horrible and there's no way I would have been able to stand for I don't know how long we were there an hour or so and um, the makeup artist and hairstylist they were so sweet they kept coming to check on me and check on the rest of us saying are you okay do you need water um, by the way I, I hate mannequin modeling even though I was sitting it's just it's hard for me not to move like even as I'm talking to you I'm like fidgeting and moving around so Mannequin modeling is not for me. I won't say that it was an unpaid job because I don't know if other people were getting paid, but I did not get paid. And one thing I've learned along the years um, and this situation with one of my good friends really taught me this lesson. She worked on Rip the Runway, the BET production, and I believe she was getting paid, but she was talking to another model. And in the course of conversation with the other girl, she realized the other girl wasn't getting paid. And she was like, oh my goodness. So she didn't tell the other girl she wasn't getting paid, but that's when she realized that everybody 
wasn't getting paid. And now further along in my career, I can also see that that happens. And also people get rates, pay rates across the board. So for instance, if you have 10 models at a job, five could be getting paid and five could not be getting paid for doing the same job, maybe even having the same experience level. Um, along those same lines, some could be getting 200 a day and some could be getting $1,000 a day. I mean, the spread is completely across the board crazy. So that's why it's really a good idea to know your value, do your research, talk to people so that you're getting what is customary for that position and what is maybe also customary for your level of experience. Because these clients, I'm not saying anything bad about them, y'all. It's just business, you know, like as a business person, your job is to make a profit. And so you're going to make a profit however you can, even if that's um, negotiating someone down to a low rate that is below industry standard. Sometimes they know that, sometimes they don't, maybe, I don't know. Moral of the story, know your worth and add tax. Here I meant to say that just because you are getting paid doesn't mean that everyone else is getting paid, and just because others are getting paid doesn't mean that you are getting paid. You are you. You are not anybody. Nobody has your bills. Nobody has your experience. So quick commercial break. I was going to put on something super cute for this video, but y'all, it's cold in the house today. So I grabbed my Sherpa hoodie that I got from Amazon. It is Sherpa all over, not just in the hood, but also, can you see that? All the way through. So if you want to be warm, either for this spring of deception or for next winter, I'm going to put the link to this down in the description box. Okay, now let's get back to talking about body paint. Next job was for Makeup Forever Academy. I do remember the name of the makeup artist. Her name was Fabiana, and she was so fabulous and talented. She was actually from Portugal, no, Brazil. She was from Brazil, and she spoke Portuguese. That was her first language. Again, I'm, I apologize. I do not remember the name of the photographer. He was also very talented. I went all the way to New York to do this job. This was when I was um, back living in New Jersey, and it was it was a really great experience. Her vision was to turn me into the Tin Man, and the theme, this was uh, her senior project for Makeup Forever Academy. The theme of the project was The Wizard of Oz, and each one of the students had a character that they would transform a model into, and her character was the Tin Man. One of the slightly disappointing things about this job was, and it's a little embarrassing, my head was so big, it didn't fit the headpiece. And so um, she probably would have colored my hair already. I mean, painted it already, but um, yeah, didn't get to use the headpiece that I'm sure she worked very hard on. And it was so beautiful, but I did get some behind the scenes photos with it. Okay, so let's talk about washing this stuff out. Oh, by the way, did I say that job wasn't paid? She did give me a tip for, you know, transportation for going all the way up there, but it was not a paid job. Going back to this ad on Craigslist that's looking for body paint models, paying $100 an hour for up to three hours. That's $300 per model. I, I do think it's feasible, but also if I look at my experience, that wasn't my experience. Also, my jobs were head and hair, and the example photos on the ad were full body paint where you pretty much be nude and they would paint over your whole body. So that's a different level of commitment and may also be a different rate level it's still feasible to me so if you were interested in that kind of job i would check it out and at least see what they're saying and then you would know for the future um sometimes there are also i've seen events at clubs where they hire body paint models that sounds miserable to me one thing about body paint and just modeling jobs in general where you're wearing specific clothing it's cold so you know sometimes i'm wearing a prom dress a wedding dress or some other kind of garment and everyone around is wearing coats and jackets jackets and sweaters and you're standing there freezing, you know, probably with your toes out and some cute strappy heels and not really that many clothes. So imagine wearing no clothes, no clothes. It's cold, no clothes and some paint. It's going to be cold y'all. So I would say if you say no to something, just make a powerful choice and say no to it because everything ain't for everybody. Also, you can try it once to see if it's something that you think you would like and want to try again. Okay, now let's talk about washing that crazy paint off your body. So remember my experience was metallic body paint, which is extra hard to get off. And I know that because 
So the first job was the bronze body paint and the second job was silver body paint. When you scrub the paint off and you do have to scrub, there's a layer of black underneath. And I'm not sure why this is. I don't think it's for all body paint, but it was true for those two metallic colors. So even once you get the silver, the bronze, the gold, whatever off the top, there is a black layer underneath that also has to be scrubbed off. I was scrubbing paint off for weeks, <laughs> especially like behind my ears, on my ears, in my hair in certain places. So I would absolutely do both of those jobs again. They were both wonderful experiences. And even though I didn't get paid, I felt really respected by the people who put on the production. So um, yeah, so I'd say try it out and do some more research on rates. And yeah, that is what it's like to be a body paint model. Would you do it? Would you try it? Let me know in the comments or have you done it? And what was your experience? Let me know. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video.